sounds kind of different. I think maybe the ones that are most connected, like uh, is Weekend Man, the last one, mm -hmm. and Club Majesty now. And I think actually it might be. I mean, when we released the first record, we played what three shows or something, or four or five. Mm -hmm. um, it, it wasn't like we we met, you know. 10 years before we put the first album out and just jammed, you know, found our sound or anything. We kind of started out with this basic idea that we just want to, like every other man, we just want to rock. We just want to have fun. We just want to get this energy going and get this energy out and give energy to people and feed on it and so on. And that was the whole idea in the beginning. There really wasn't anything else. There was no thoughts of, you know, writing a hit or writing a, a in general at all really. We didn't focus on writing, we just focused on the, the energy of the whole thing. And then, so I feel like we kind of, we were a young band, we're still a young band, I, guess. I don't know, I don't know, but I mean, I feel like we really came into our own place uh, with Weekend Man. I think everybody in the band felt like this is, you know, because there was always a bit of like, on the first two albums, it, there was a lot of references like, oh, this, they sound like this, they sound like that band, they sound, they dress like that band, and so on. Um, and nowadays, I don't really, I feel like we, we really do sound like us. I can't really think of a, think of a band that sounds like our latest single, like Fireman. I don't know a, a band that writes riffs like that. I, I don't know. Um, I'm also very proud of us being a band that actually develops from one album to another. I like that band, I, always, I was always a big fan of, of uh, Neil Young, The Beatles obviously, uh, Led Zeppelin and all these bands and artists that actually developed. They didn't stick to one formula, they didn't put out like their debut album and then they realized, oh this actually works, let's do it all over again and again and again and again. Which is cool for some bands like ACDC, they pretty much did the same album all over again. But, uh, but I take a lot of pride in us being one of those bands that actually develop and sort of go with the flow. And by the flow I mean our flow, where we want to go. And another thing that was important about that was in the very beginning, and the thing that we always come back to is that we need this to be fun for us. We can't turn this into, because there was a lot of people, especially after the first record that was like, a, did pretty well for a debut album, but you know, in this day and age with a guitar band, kind of. A lot of people wanted to like uh, you know steer us in different directions from everything to the to the you know vocal performance to the guitar sound to the uh, clothing to the attitude to everything uh, and uh, you know looking back on you know save the nation for example it's maybe not the thing that I am the m most proud of today I, I can honestly say I know I think we I don't know where we were, but the thing that I take with me from that was that we, like you said, we did what we wanted to do at the time. Against everybody's advice, we at least, you know, we did what we thought was the right call, what made us, like, horny uh, at that moment. Uh, and that's what we did with Weekend Man, yeah. and that's what we did now with Club Majesty. Uh, and that's what we'll keep doing.